All right. Hello and good morning, everybody. It is I, Granarite, and here we are a little later than our usual stream for our conclusion of our ground type playthrough. Um, today is actually the first day of my vacation. And I planned on doing a lot more streaming today, and then my babysitter canceled on me uh, for watching my youngest daughter. She's now down for a pretty deep sleep, it seems, but there's always the potential that she can wake up, and I will have to hop away. But I really wanted to finish this playthrough at least today, and then well, I guess we'll do more streaming tomorrow, uh, when she's back in daycare. So... Let's go take on Red. We saw Duck Trio up front. And we want Duck Trio to start. Of course, as always, when we get up here to Red, we will check the team stats before final stats before we go in. All right. So here we go. Here's our final check. Doug Trio, level 65, 162 hit points, soft sand, earthquake, sludge bomb, sand attack, slash, rocking pretty good. I mean, he's really fast. Decent special attack, special defense, low special attack and defense. Sand slash, rocking good attack and defense. Pretty low special stats. Leftover slash defense curl rollout earthquake at 125 hit points. Don Fan, 237 hit points. Uh, rocking leftovers, headbutt, rollout, defense, curl, and earthquake. And um, really high attack and defense, pretty low everything else. And then Gliger, high defense, decent speed, not really good at other stats. Cuts the King's Rock, slash, Toxic Iron Tail, Fury Cutter at 195 hit points. So here we go. Really what we want is we want to get through this. We shouldn't have any problems. This, you know, we made it through with that bug team. We can make it through with this team. Our biggest issues for this play, for this fight are going to be Blastoise and Venusaur. Blastoise more so than Venusaur. Well, let's just nix this Pikachu to start things off. What we got next? Sending out Venusaur next. And with Venusaur coming out, we're gonna send out Gliger. Because Gliger gets neutral uh, damage from grass attacks. Good flinch. And he has a chance to flinch. I forget about that always too with Kings Rock. All his attacks have a chance to flinch. We're looking at powering up this Fury Cutter as long as we keep hitting. Of course, it gets a critical hit. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what do we do here? Try to take it down with a couple earthquakes. They do neutral damage. The duck trail's gonna go down to that. Okay, this should take down the Venusaur. The problem is next is definitely going to be Blastoise, but the sun is up right now. Which means he'll probably Rain Dance for a turn. Um... Let's see what we do with an Earthquake. Uh, 
And not quite ha Oh, he's Blizzard! Well, that's not fair. Oh, good, we uh, survived that, though, somehow. Um, let's use a Max Revive... ...on Doug Trio. We're gonna drop some stand attacks here. The sunlight has faded. Doug Trio does have our highest special defense, though. We could just survive even one surf. Oh, of course it can't when it's a critical hit. That's fair. Alright, so we get hit with another surf here on Don Fan. He survives somehow. Oh, he's gonna go before us. We're too slow with Don Fan. We need. I should have just revived somebody else. We need him to miss an attack or two. Come on. Alright, well, that's a loss. Because of all the criticals. I mean, we're not gonna revive with the Muse out. We, we legit lost, so we're just gonna legit lose. Um, if we hadn't got crit by that solar beam, I think we would have stood a better chance. Because that just one hit down to Gliger. And then, of course, the um, Blastoise had, like, two crits as well, which doesn't help. It's more of a pain that we're now down our max revives. Oh, let's try this again. Now, Doug Trio did, like, straight up take down Vitasaur almost by himself last time, so we might see if we can do that again if, since he's going to probably Sunny Day here. I mean, I would think he would. Okay, that's not near as much as what we did last time. We'll let Gliger take the solar beam. Like I said, he takes neutral damage from this. So as long as it's not a critical, he should survive this. Oh, wrong button. I meant to just speed up the healing. Took in sunlight. Okay, we really need you to hit those crits, Glider. We're using a high crit attack, and you can't even crit. What's his other attack? Is it like Giga Drain or something? Oh yeah, crit when it doesn't matter. Uh, that's how it always is. My right, Blastoise is coming out next. We're gonna toxic Blastoise hopefully before we go down here. Goodbye, Gliger. All right, so the trio.
I really think Duck Trio should be able to survive one surf if it's not a crit. He's got the highest special defense, even though it's super effective. But, but I, he can't for some reason. I mean, Sand Slash has a lower special defense. Oh, we missed. What's good for us? Let's get an Earthquake on this Blastoise. Well, now if Sand Slash survives this, which he did in the last fight. Well, that was a Blizzard. That wasn't a Surf. That was a Blizzard. The Blizzard is stronger than Surf. Um... We should be able to take this down with another Earthquake. Oh, of course it is going to take this down. Oh, he gets the stab. That's probably why. Um... So really what we need is for him to go down. Or the like missing we need him to miss an attack, honestly. Alright, so we get the Blastoise down. That's good. Problem is we're down like all of our Pokemon, and Espeon is coming out next. Uh, so how much does Espeon deal to us? With, like, what, a Psychic? A lot. That's not good. So we don't have any Max Revives. Yeah, it is definitely not pulling any punches. I just don't know what we were supposed to do here. We could heal past the Psychics. As long as it doesn't crit us. Oh, well there it goes. So now we just lost. Alright, we need to go buy items. So that's our second loss. Potions. Yeah, two losses to red. Other team that we had the most issues with was our bug team that had Ladian and Butterfree on it, and we had to go level up higher in order to beat Red. We had to get to level 67 in order for us to be successful. Otherwise, it's this one. Like, this has been the only other team that's had issues. And it's really just because he's got his Venusaur and his Blastoids we have to work through, and the Blastoids is just a chunky boy. Alright, we know we take Pikachu down on a single hit. Alright, so... Venusaur. Um... I really don't think it matters who we use. We're not faster than it with Don Fan. But Don Fan packs the hardest punch. I 
Now we switch the Glider because it takes neutral damage from the Solar Beam. And it's going to use another Solar Beam next. At least that's what it was doing. Good crit. Alright, so with this being the case, as long as he doesn't... Oh, I didn't buy any more revives? I thought I bought more than one revive, but that's not good. Well, this, that could have put us in a real pinch here. Okay, because next comes Blastoise. So the first thing we're going to do with Blastoise is Toxic it. And of course we miss, so Gligar's just gone. Okay. Um, maybe we could just outspeed past it. The problem is, is we're just we're, we're going to lose all our guys. And I've only got one revive, because for some reason my thing didn't buy two revives. We're just, we're just going to throw this fight because I messed up. Yeah, I always buy five. Oh, I don't have any money. That's a problem. How many can I buy? Got no more monies, that's right. Well, if we don't win this fight, we are going to have to level up some more and get some more item money and items, which means we're going to fight the Elite Four to get two more levels. Alright, so this was our strategy that we used last time. And it worked out okay. This keeps us at like max health. I'm still gonna use another full. I'm gonna just put Doug Trio with this max health. Okay, so we got past the first two like we have been. Now, Gliger, I would really like you to just hit this Toxic. Now, if he uses Blizzard here like he's been doing, there's a chance he misses this, which he did this time, which is really good for us, actually. Because that just means we get damage down. Oh, and he gets a crit on top of that. Okay, well, Glider goes down to that. There's, there's no way he survives that. So if Sand Slash takes the Surf, would that would be amazing? But it seems that the Surf damage has been variable. And there's a chance he won't. He has before, he won't this time. But we've taken down the Blastoise now.
So out of what he has left, the Espeon is the issue. Not the Snorlax or the Charizard, it's the Espeon, because it's the other special attacker. The big thing that we have in our favor is we still have Dugtrio, and we know Dugtrio can survive a Psychic, and he's fast, and hits pretty hard. So as long as he does half health and damage, Dugtrio will take down Espeon, which he did. The Reflect is not nice, Espeon. That, that was not nice. Alright, Snorlax is coming out next, which is excellent for us. We're going to send out Donphan. Alright, now I'm going to speed up these first few turns. We are going to max out Defense Curl. Four. Five. Uh, we didn't get that one. Six. Alright, now we are going to get our team back up. Oh, of course he crits us on that last one. Um, okay, well, we'll just do the same thing with Sandslash here. But it be safe, and I'm just gonna full restore there. Two, three, four, four, five, six. Okay. What was I doing before? Oh, that's right. It's not that he doesn't want to cooperate. It's that Snorlax is... Um, it's the paralysis that's being a pain in the butt. Alright, so now we just roll out to beat Snorlax. And our defense is maxed. Now we, he's going to rest. He was going to get a rest in here. Was that four? Is this a crit? My goodness. Yeah, it was. Which means we still have a max power rollout coming. <laughs> and all we have left is Charizard. Get him. Gone. That's it. That was tough. That was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Because, you know, we got past this team with our rock team. Okay. Thank you for the good job. Alright, let's see what our next playthrough is going to be. This is what everybody looks forward to. Use your incentives if you want to. This is the time. We're going to see what starter we're going to start out with first. So, one is Chikorita, two is Cyndaquil, three is Totodile. Go! So, Cyndaquil. Uh, type. Yeah, I, this team was definitely the worst against Red so far. I, well, I don't know. I think it's tied with the bug one. We went two levels higher on the bug team to win. We didn't have to do that with the with the ground team. Um, we we have fifteen types left. Okay, yeah, you save those points, then, Krishnamon. So we have grass poison. Fire Flying, Water Bug, Normal Ground, Electric Fighting Rock, Psychic Ice, Dragon Steel, in that order. Go! Number 10. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, this is going to be our final fighting type team. Just make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
one, two. Grass poison, fire flying, water. Yes. If you had leveled up to uh, from the regular level to 65 to do the team. Yeah, no, I agree. So yeah, second fighting type team, which is a team of three. Which means that this playthrough is going to be Pitmonchan. Machamp and Polyrath. 